Hi there, good people of MPC world. Um, I just got myself my first ever MPC and obviously wanted to load some MIDI files onto it and found out that all the ways, all the methods of putting multiple, MP, uh, multiple MIDI files as, uh, as tracks is actually quite convoluted and difficult because what uh, people are showing is that you select some MIDI files and you drop one in and it goes in as a track and everything is fine and dandy until you try to drop another one and instead of creating a new track the software wants to create another se sequence so uh, then you have to go through all sorts of strange processes to get the get those MIDI files together into one sequence so I refused to take that as the only way to do it and actually found out two quick ways of doing it so here I have uh, 16 come on select them 16 MIDI files they are the MIDI files that came with the software with the MPC and here I'm just going to fire up logic and I'm sure that it can work uh, in a very similar fashion in other pieces of software in other sequencers, doors, whatever, whatever uh, you choose to call them. And I'm going to take those 16 files and drop them into logic. The issue here is that uh, if you try to drop them, if you try to drop them, just ah, yeah, select all. If you try to drop them here, which seems to be the logical way, huh, logical, in logic, you only get one. To get more than one MIDI file as tracks in logic, you actually have to go all the way to this area here where the tracks are, and it says the drag audio files to create instruments, but we can just drop MIDI files and sure enough, I'm going to delete the first empty track. Uh, sure enough, you get all the MIDI files in there and S tracks. And I've selected them randomly. So here is some sort of a, um, I don't know, they, they seem to have a tail with a single note in them. So I'm just going to trim it off. And we are almost done. Because then we just go to export all MIDI tracks as a single MIDI file. And I'm going to put it back into my MIDI files. I'll call it 16 tracks logic and go save. I'm actually going to turn logic off. We don't need that anymore. I'm going to fire up the MPC software and I'm simply going to take this one file which has all those MIDI files as tracks and drop it here and lo and behold you have 16 tracks in a single sequence. Now because in logic we didn't set up anything all of them come here as MIDI 01 uh, or drums program one you can pick you can do whatever you want here you can you can either go and set up all your plugins or whatever here or just send it to the hardware and do it there because on the hardware obviously they will all try to play MIDI and it will be silent if you set them up if you put a plugin here and copy it to all the tracks, then you just have to solo one at the time. But you know what to do from, from here. You can either save it as a project or you can save it as a current sequence. And I'm not going to do it because from there on, um, I think you probably know better and more about the MPC than I do because I've had it for about a week. But once, once you get them all into the hardware, 
you simply pick different um, instruments or if you want to use the same program for all of them, well then you just have to solo them and they will play. So this was method number one. Now there is another method to do it and it was brought to me by um, the good people at Google. I'll put the link in under the video, but there's a website ofoct.com where one of the converters is actually a MIDI converter appenderer. Um, and you have two options here, how to combine MIDI files. The uploads cannot be bigger than 2 meg, but that's hardly a problem. And I use this one, add tracks. So MIDI file 1 plus MIDI file 2, and then you get an output with all the tracks. So here I'm just going to pick all those, not the 16 tracks, of course, from Logic. Drag, drop. It does a little bit of thinking. And then somewhere here, where are you? Oh, we click merge. And this is real time. Uh, you have clicked to download. I tried save as, but it goes to a PHP. So I'll just click to download. Yeah, the file is downloaded. I'm going to plunk it here. Um, I'm just going to rename it to 16 tracks from Ofokt. And the same thing. Go to the MPC software, drag, drop, check your tracks, and you get exactly the same result. Uh, the only difference is that for some reason when you do it on the website it assigns program one and no MIDI. But that is not an issue. I think everyone was struggling with an issue of uh, creating multiple tracks in the MPC software and then putting it onto the machine. As in, no, machine, a machine, the MPC. So I hope that helps. Um, and that's it. I'm done. Thank you.